hometown. He was not accepted in his own household. He was not accepted among his related. And so this is important to understand that he was the word of Jehovah. He was the son of Jehovah. He was the Messiah. He is the Messiah. So he came and he was not accepted. So Yeshua went out from the from there and came to his hometown. We're going to read Mark 6, 1 and 6. That's what I'm reading. And his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue. And that many listeners were astonished, saying, Where did this man learn these things? And what is this wisdom that has been given to him in such miracles as these performed by his hands? Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, Hoseas, Judas, and Simon? And are his sisters not here with us? And they took an offense at him. Yeshua said to them, a prophet is not dishonored except in his hometown and among his own relatives, in his own household. And he could not do any miracles except there, except that he laid his hands on a few six people and healed him, healed them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. And he was going around the villages teaching. So it was amazing that because of their unbelief, because of their looking at him being Mary's son and his brothers and his sister and his father as a carpenter, that they w- missed their blessing. And he was only able to heal a few people. And Yeshua said to him, unless people, unless you people see signs of wonders, you simply would not believe. So this is the problem. And that time, so when Yeshua performed his first miracle, which was the wine, uh, the water turned to wine, and then he performed some miracles during the Passover, this is what the people were coming for. They was coming for the signs and wonders, and they wanted to see this. And, And this is the problem that some people fall in a trap for is because, you know, he said a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after after a sign. So we are not supposed to be looking for, for say, signs and wonders, but we are supposed to look for um, our teachers who's teaching the truth, um, starting from Genesis to Revelation altogether and not telling you to turn away from the Torah. You would read that in Deuteronomy um, 13. It's important for you to have some foundation in. 